with the weather. Helen Willits is here with the details for us. A very red screen behind you, Helen. <laughs> Good morning, Hi, Joanna. Guys. I had the central heating on at home yesterday evening. It was so chilly. It has been a cool July, hasn't it? But can you guess what the temperature was in Baghdad yesterday? I don't think like 45. 50. Oh, Unprecedented heat wave. In fact, it's dangerously hot at the moment. They've declared a four day mandatory holiday wow. just to keep people indoors because we had 52 wow. in Kanakin yesterday on the border with Iran as well. And actually, that's dry heat. But even if you could escape to the coast, mid 40s, really high humidity. So it's dangerously hot for a different reason. Unfortunately, the forecast for today is pretty much the same. It's, it's unbelievable. I can't really begin to comprehend what 50 degree heat would feel like by the end of the weekend we might see temperatures a couple of degrees lower that could make all the difference of course like it would do here you know 37 down to 34 degrees but mm. it's absolutely incredible and most of the country is landlocked you may have heard as well that it's uh, warming up a little bit over here for the weekend. Oh, is it? Good. <laughs> it's just a Long little bit. Overdue, although about, it keeps getting warm and then getting know, cold again. So but it's 25 point. degrees off what we're seeing across the Middle East. Um, and do. it's not for all either, Joanna. So if I take you through what's happening over the weekend, you can see actually today we've got this low pressure coming in across the north and the west. So although we'll have the warmth across southern and eastern areas, it isn't going to be for everybody. And actually for the Gulf, the ladies' Gulf at Turnbury, we could well have some rain and some interesting conditions because of the strength of the wind, both today and tomorrow, in fact. So lots of events taking place this weekend as well. Today, not a great day, as I say, for the golfers up in Turnbury. Northern Ireland and Western Scotland seeing some heavy outbreaks of rain, some showers getting into eastern Scotland, northern England and North Wales as well. But for the majority of England and Wales, having lost that keen northwesterly wind that we've been plagued with all week it'll actually feel warmer and it's very strong sunshine actually in the south today because we're seeing more of it now if you're wondering where carol was she's been at car fest this morning and it looks set fair doesn't it from the forecast not too bad at all but this evening if you are heading off there proceeds to children in need of course do take an umbrella because we could see a shower as this weather front sinks its way southwards through the evening and overnight more heavy showers packing into the northwest so not as chilly a night as last night but tomorrow, probably a bit more cloud for England and Wales with the risk of a shower. But ahead of that weather system, we'll still see 22, 23 degrees Celsius, which is good news because you'll see later in the programme that it is tomorrow the Women's FA Cup final and it's set fair. They kick off just before three o'clock at Wembley. Chelsea, Notts County, as I say, more on that later. It's also, therefore, going to be good for the cycle ride. It is, of course, the whole weekend. It's Ride London. So apart from the high temperatures, into the mid-20s, I think some decent cycling weather, fairly light winds as well. Not quite as warm for the National Estevard of Wales, which is in Maevard in Powys, but nevertheless, apart from the risk of a shower tomorrow, it is looking fine and dry. This is the reason for a shower potential tomorrow across Wales and the Midlands, but that low pressure moves away to allow this next low pressure to come in for the second half of the weekend, but it's not for all again. It looks like it'll be Northern Ireland, Southern Scotland, parts of Northern England, picking up a southerly wind ahead of that. So actually, in the sun Sunshine. temperatures will get higher again on Sunday that was the heat I was hinting to Joanna about 25 or 26 here and drier for northern Scotland and it does look as if that heat will stay close to the south and the east for the beginning part of the new week but it's been all all month in fact this battle between low pressure and cool winds off the Atlantic and this warm air so near yet so far and it does look as if it'll be just the south and east and the low pressure will win in the end and that's how it's looking at the moment